Hello and welcome to John Young Photography. In this video I'm doing a little bit, something a little bit different. I'm basically doing a little video here about a feature in Photoshop um, that I use for correcting uh, perspective in buildings and things, you know, like when they're a little bit warped the building. So yeah, I'm just in uh, bridge, Adobe uh, Bridge here, so I'll just open the, the image a bit in RAW. And the, the filter that you need to use the option that you need to use is in Adobe RAW. And it's great for, as I say, correcting a building like this where it's, you can see the edges here because this was photographed at 28 millimeters. So it's it's kind of a little bit warped, you know, the, the building's kind of going in towards the center point. You feel like it's kind of, instead of this line here being straight, it's, it's going up to a point in the same here. It's going up to a point. So eventually, you know, this would end up going up to a point up here. You know, it's just the perspective, the way it is. It's a little bit warped. And it shouldn't be like that. So if you go up to the top of here, there's a transform tool. If you click on the transform tool, um, you've got a few little options in here. You've got auto, you've got uh, apply level corrections and apply vertical corrections. That one there does both level and vertical. And then you've got the guided mode at the end. And the, that, the auto, and then you've got various options down here which you can then manually correct yourself. You've got the auto one at the top is works quite well actually. You can you try that and see how it works out, and that's pretty good. You can also when you've done that one, you can then add your own lines to that. Once you start adding lines to it, then automatically clicks over to the guided mode. As you see, that's just clicked over to the guided mode. And some of these other ones, let's say it depends on your image. It might work great on this image. It sends it like if I click on this one here, it sends a dual alley. You click on this here at the end, and that'll take it back off. But as I say, the guided one's the one I tend to use. That's the one to go for. When you click on the guided mode, you get these lines appear. I'll just get that one back off again because I'm just starting to start from scratch. So you get these lines appear here. So what you need to do is find the lines. In this case, the, I'm going to do the vertical lines. You could do, obviously do vertical and horizontal, but I'm just going to do the, the, the vertical in this. So grab, a, say, this corner here where you want to be straight. Click that. And drag it down where you know on a line that you know should be straight if you like. So click that and drag it down. Then again over this side, I'll do the same over this side. If you can't see, you can also click this loop, loop here. I don't know if you see that right, that loop, but it's basically a little magnifying glass so that you can see you can see there the edges of the building. And you could you could put it in that way. I prefer just to do it by eye, but if you wanted to do it that way, you could. And drag a line down there. And then You'll probably notice when I first click that first line on here, nothing happens because nothing happens until you put two lines in. Once you start putting two lines in, then it'll start correcting itself. It won't do it until you put two lines in. You then could also put in horizontal lines. So you could put horizontal lines across here, which it doesn't need in this picture, but you can see there the point difference it makes. Uh, as I say, this picture just really needs the two verticals put in. So if you do put a line in that you don't want, you can just press delete and take it back off again. Once you've put your lines in, you can also then change them, you know, so you can drag this left and right and move it around where you need to be. And as I say, you might have some images where you might have, you know, if it was like, say, a, a building from a distance, like a tower block or something, you might want to put obviously the verticals down and then the horizontals across the top of the building and the horizontals across the bottom as well. And so, you know, you're getting it really straight and level. But on this, as I say, I'm just going to do the cor two corner pieces here. And it just it works really good. I mean, years ago, well, nine years ago, and a short while ago, if you like, you used to have to use filters and things to to do this kind of job. And now Photoshop's got it built in, so it works really, really well. And and to see, it's it's a good way of getting buildings when they're a bit cock high, just getting them straight up a bit. Um, and it just makes them much more pleasant to wear to look at, if you like. Okay. And um, thanks for watching. Um, just to remind you, please um, click the like if you like this video and please subscribe. The next video I'm going to put up is going to be a video of a tool I use in Photoshop, which took us a long time to find, actually. It took us a while to find it. It was quite an obscure program to find. It's really, really good. Yeah, I use it a lot um, in the wind photographs. It makes, makes the wind photographs really, really different and makes them stand out and, and the customers love it. Uh, and it's something I use quite regularly. So if you want to see that, I'll probably be after Christmas before I put that up. But please subscribe um, and I'll, you'll see that video when I put it up. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. This is John Young Photography. And if I don't speak to you before, have a really, really happy Christmas. Bye-bye.